My name is Eric Bland. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Today, look at these hands. It's just absolutely gross and disgusting. My face is dirty. One of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm telling up a garden for my family, okay? And it's just going to be a little garden, not too big. But one of the things I'd like for you guys to do if you're going to start a business to start a garden or go uh, till up a garden area because a lot of you guys want the success right away. Man, we're going we're gonna to start a business and we're going to be successful tomorrow afternoon. No, that's not how it works. We don't pop the microwavable society in and say that's what we're going to push for a business and that's what we're going to have and bing, it comes out in 30 seconds later or three minutes later and it's a success. It doesn't work that way. So gardening is the very opposite of that. You have to wait and wait and wait and wait. A lot of you guys don't want to wait. You want success right away. Gardening, you have to plot the area, making sure that that area is not going to get washed out by water. Okay, Michigan, we're getting slammed with a lot of rain. I know a lot of you guys all, all over the U.S. We are obviously with all much rain we've gotten. But um, so you got to plot out the area. You got to make sure that the soil is good because here in Michigan and here in New Baltimore, we're so close to the water that you get a lot of sand. So you, you can't really grow things in sand. You got to grow them in what? You got to grow them in soil. So you gotta pick out an area that's gonna be good for that. You have to make sure it's above the ground so it doesn't get flooded out, right? You also have to make sure that that area is gonna be full sunlight rather than shaded, right? So there's all these things you have to, you have to make sure you can get a water source to that specific spot. So you have to do all this research. So one of the things I wanna to talk to you guys about is I want you to focus in on your guys' business this year and think about it this way. Are you tilling up the right area? Are you located in the right area, okay? Um, are you making sure that you don't get washed out? Well, what does that mean for the window cleaning business or whatever business that you guys are in? Are you making sure that other businesses around you aren't going around cutting you, you know, 50% or whatever it is, making sure that you're in a, in a good area that everybody has a good playing field, right? You want to make sure that you have room to grow. You have to plant these plants certain feet apart so that they have uh, the root system goes down and it grows. Are you able to be in a place that you can grow? If you're in a population of 1,500, that's not gonna, you can't grow your business very big on that. I mean, you might take up, what, 5%, 6%, 7% of those 1,500 people, but let's be honest, if you have a place that has 30 or 40 or 50 or 60,000 people, you can get a lot more business and people are normally able to pay what you're asking for, okay, if you're at the right price point. Then, when you're cultivating this plant and you're continually watering it and watering it and watering it to making sure that it's a baby that grows up so that it be able to eat vegetables. Well, it's the same thing for your business. You want to make sure that you cultivate your business, cultivate, 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 weed out all the negative stuff out of there, right? Pe negativity in your business and people trying to ruin you and soil your, your ideas and things like that. Get them out of there, right? Weed the garden and then keep cultivating it until it grows up and you can start you know, enjoying your fruits of your labor, right? And so I know this is like very cliche, but it's a very important message to you guys out there because I get a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people that call me and I know I don't do a ton of videos. I know I do more informational videos um, about, you know, window cleaning, what we're doing, things like that. But this is just for you guys out there that are starting a business. It's not microwavable society anymore, you guys. It, if you're looking for the overnight Bitcoin success, that's not gonna happen. You literally have to go out there. You have to dig deep in the business. And I, I'll be honest with you, walk up to any successful person that you know in your life, anybody in your life that you know, or if you see them and, and go up to them and say, hey, is business easy? Is it uh, simple? And you wouldn't ask them that question, but you're expecting that to be easy and simple in your life, but not and this person's life that's worked all of his life and you're seeing the benefits of him. There's a gentleman I know, he is living the high life on such a low, 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 low budget. And I talk to him all the time. I say, hey man, you know what are you doing? He's like, I'm out golfing. And he's always the guy that never has any money. And I'm like, you're out golfing? You were just asking to borrow $50 the other day. Like, okay, live that life after you work really hard and then you can go out and go golfing and not have to worry about having $50 in your bank account, okay? Work hard, you know, be persistent at what you guys do. Be persistent at your business, you know? Uh, don't continue to hop from one thing to the next. You know, get successful at one thing, then add another, and then add another, and you know, before you know it, you're successful at a lot of things. But 
One of the things I want you to do is really focus in on your company this year. Don't worry about the other companies. Know that they exist, see that they exist, and you know, know that you want to conquer the area of whatever you're at. So conquer this small area, then conquer the next area above that, and the next area, and the next area, and over a period of years, you start to see, wow, I've conquered all of this area. We do a lot of Oakland and Macomb County. Those counties are huge, huge counties. I could stick just in Oakland County and be okay. We are broken open and the gates are like wide as can be over here in Macomb County. We have taken over Utica. There are over 255 window cleaners in my central area of a 10 to 15 mile radius. That, that's crazy to you guys out there. But for some reason, we're crushing it out here. Cultivate, make sure you're persistent in your business, making sure that you have great time managing it down, and making sure that you have hard work. Hard work, I mean, a lot of people say, don't, you know, work smarter, not harder. Yeah, well, at first, you're gonna have to work very hard, <laughs> okay? Do the research, right? Get out there, and I know a lot of people that hate this word, but you really gotta hustle. You, you've gotta be persistent in what you do, or you will fail every single time. And you say, well, it's a little too hot out today, I don't really wanna do it. Well, that's the perfect time to do it because nobody else is going to be out there. Oh, it's a little too chilly today. Great. No other window cleaner is going to be out there doing it. So get out there and bust your butt. Now, today, lucky enough for us here in Michigan at the end of May, we finally got our summer and it's about 75 degrees out here today. So, um, and it's Memorial Day. So I'm relaxing at home, tearing up the backyard to do a little, little garden out there next to the chipping green I have. But hard work, persistent, and time management is exactly what you guys need and making sure that you know, you understand what it takes for a business. It's not an overnight success, and I know you might be sick of that, but a lot of people reversed that, you know, years ago, and people say, oh, Eric, you said it was so easy. And yeah, you know what? Um, it came a lot easier to me because I, I knew my work ethic. You know, it was hard work, but I was putting it in, and a lot of people aren't willing to put that hard work in. They're not willing to be persistent. Well, I'm embarrassed. I don't want to say it in front of these people that I own a company or whatever company that you own. You know, I know a guy that owns a pet waste removal company and he will not pass out a cart. Um, he just does paid ads. And I said, why don't you put, well, you know, it's like a kid's job. I'm like, okay, you're never going to be successful at this if you just think that over and over again in your head. So I love you guys. Remember this one thing. If you are just doing this part-time and treat it like a part-time gig, it will always be a part-time gig. If you guys want to be successful at this, treat it as your full-time gig. It will be your full-time gig. You'll never, you'll no longer have a side hustle. You'll be doing something that you enjoy. Maybe it is golfing. Maybe it is fishing. Maybe it is hanging out with the family. Whatever it is. I love you guys so much, and I'm going to get back to my family now. And that's one of the reasons I haven't done a lot of videos lately is I've been spending so much quality time with my kids, my family, my loved ones, and it, my life has just been amazing by spending the quality time. This is eight minutes given to you guys. If you don't care for the video, that's okay. Thumb down it, get rid of it, whatever it is. But if you enjoyed it, thumbs up, give it a good like, and uh, I'll see you next time. Love you guys.